Hey guys, what's going on? My was, and today I'm going to be showing you my AFK farm 2.0 in Build Boat for Treasure. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because on the original design, uh, there was a lot of confusion because I forgot to mention some things in the video that I mentioned in the pinned comment that no one read. So, uh, yeah, there were a ton of confused comments, and I just want to completely kind of redo it just to uh, kind of clear up those issues. So yeah, it is the exact same design. I am just uh, kind of addressing all of the issues to put it all into one video. So uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say. So without any further ado, let's get straight into how to build it. All right, guys, before we build it, uh, just I want to give a quick shout out to you, Gray. He did make the original design for this thing. I modified it a bit to make it a little cheaper and just a little better. So uh, yeah, anyways, uh, how you're going to start out is make sure you have anchor block on. That is right, anchor block on. That is unusual for me to say. Then you're going to place a wheel facing up just like this. Make sure you're using this kind of wheel. Uh, just leave a little space between the wheel and the uh, path here, just like that right in the middle. And uh, yeah, then place 50 of really any kind of block. Uh, I don't know if like titanium will work or like something heavy. Uh, I just use plastic or ice or wood. I, that's what I would use if I were you. So yeah, um, you're just going to place 50 of the blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. There we go. Just like that. Now, of course, you could just use the scale tool, but uh, I'm not going to use it because uh, the video, I, I don't really know why I'm not using it. But yeah, uh, so now you're going to get out a wheel, place it like about halfway up on this thing, facing up, just like that. Then we're going to place five more blocks on this wheel, facing the same direction. So one, two, three, four, five, just like that. Then two blocks down. One, two. Then you're just going to place a portal on the end of this thing. Now, if you don't have uh, two portals, I did make a video on how to get portals for free. I recommend go checking that out. Also, there are a couple codes you can use just so you know if you don't have portals. Uh, anyways, uh, then you're going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, so then uh, get out your screwdriver tool, click select all, uh, turn off collisions, then set the wheel torque to the green, uh, like the maximum basically. Then come over to this wheel, click it, and set the wheel speed to 5, uh, just like that. Again, keep everything anchored right for now. Uh, you just want everything to be anchored. Alright, then we're going to come over here and we're going to build the actual like thing that lets you take the portal to the other place. So uh, yeah, just go ahead and place a portal just like this on a uh, rod here. Then place a block on the edge of the on the end of this portal just like that. And then place a chair just like that on that block and uh, just leave it kind of like this. That's all you really need to do. Uh, if you want, you can place a block right uh, here. Actually, you know no, you don't need to do that. Uh, just make sure that these two portals are the same color. I'm going to make them both red because red is cool. And uh, yeah, so now this is the point where you're going to save this in your uh, save slot here. Just like that. And then you're going to go ahead, sit in this seat. And then uh, zoom in, you're going to place a cake. Now, if you don't have a cake, I'm pretty sure, I've seen comments about this, that this works. Just placing a glue block like this and then placing a hinge right here. I can't confirm that this works or not. I didn't test it before making this video, but uh, I'm just going to use a cake. Just place it like halfway in this block like that. Then uh, again, zoom in and place two hinges just like that and then delete the bottom hinge. Now, if this hinge right here falls, you might have to set your character proportions back to the defaults or change some things up on your avatar. That is usually the problem if this hinge just falls off when you do this part. So then, right now is when you're gonna unanchor everything. And now, uh, I, I think I fell. So uh, let's just try this again. That uh, is kind of weird that it did that. Let's just build this again. Here we go, I'll just do it like that and then build this again. So uh, yeah, uh, you might have to build it a little differently, but it's basically the same thing. Uh, I think this should work now. Uh, there we go, do that, and unanchor. And there we go, now it works. Okay, now we delete this wooden rod, hold W to go up, and then just hold space bar. Now you're gonna take this thing all the way to the black wall. Forgot to mention, make sure you are setting this up on white team because for some reason you can't turn this thing when you have a portal. 
So, uh, yeah, and it will slightly start to, like, tilt a little bit. Just ignore that. It doesn't matter as long as you don't let it get to, like, 90 degrees. So, uh, yeah, you're just going to go ahead and fly this thing all the way to the black wall. But wait right here. You want to leave a decent amount of space between it and the black wall this time. Uh, that's a little change from my other tutorials. So, about this much space uh, right here. That's good. So, you see I have a pretty decent amount of space between this thing and the black wall. Just go ahead and uh, anchor this thing right like that. And I just realized that there's a new tool. Uh, I have not been playing build a boat. Uh, whatever. Anyways, just delete the hinge, delete the block, and also the cake. And there we go. That should be it. The only thing we have left to do is to place a lever and activate this entire thing. So uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, what kind of lever. Just don't use a button because then it would not work very good. Uh, so just place the lever like that and I think this should work. Yep, it works. Okay, so that activates that. It will start spinning uh, like it'll just start going insane basically. Uh, this wheel will be uh, kind of going insane. Uh, just ignore that. It won't break, I don't think. So uh, then you just uh, go in there and as you can see you go right through the black wall just like that. And then you will die. And you'll get your gold in a second here. There we go. Get our gold. Instantly get teleported back through. And yeah, as you can see, this thing's crazy efficient. Uh, I don't know if this is any better than like a normal AFK farm. But I know it's pretty close. Like this is really good. Uh, most of you have probably already used it if you've subscribed to me. Because that's like a big reason why people subscribe to me. Because of that video. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this thing works great. And I believe I covered everything that I forgot to in that other video. So, uh, that's always good. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. You are going on a run.